only is control of the Senate hanging in the balance, but a joint session of Congress is convening today to certify the results of the presidential election. Tensions running high. Supporters of President Trump gather there in Washington. Some Republican lawmakers, as you know, are gearing up to challenge the election results. Hey, Robin, good morning to you, too. So today, President Trump gets that Hail Mary election showdown he's been demanding. But in the end, to be clear, the result will be the exact same one he has been refusing to accept for months, that Joe Biden is the next president of the United States. Overnight clashes erupting on the streets of state. Ensure where there's irregularities. Let's take the time and get it done. And I, for one, don't understand why Biden and his team, after getting smashed in every election outside of the presidency, why Biden wouldn't want to make sure that every vote is counted, every vote is legal. And it seems to me like if they want to go in with a strong position, being the president-elect, they should stop putting to... Morning, Ma. He would have loved how you're fighting for what's right. He'd be out there at the Capitol with you today. Mom, I, I don't think... Well, I saw your uncle on Newsmax, and he was just so good. I saw Romney on a show last week, and I don't know how that family lives with themselves. He's a nice guy. Oh, you're so naive. He may seem nice, but what does that get you? Mom, I'm sorry, but at least the man's got morals, all right? And you know I love Uncle, but he is no Romney. Besides, why shouldn't we be criticizing some of the stuff Trump... Yeah, just forget it. You know how I feel. I know how you feel, and so did your father. Though I think he started to lose his marbles trying to get everyone to watch CNN by the end. Sorry, Seth's the line. I'll call you after work, okay? Don't watch CNN. What, this couldn't wait? I'm leaving in 15. Can you leave now? We're so damn hypocritical, we've gotta wake up. Carson, I really can't- No, just, just listen. I mean, how the hell are we only gonna talk about increasing penalties on illegal immigrants and not at all about curtailing all those employers looking to hire them? Besides, in 01, they made it perfectly clear they weren't trying to overturn the results. It was just a public protest, all right? I mean, come on, Seth, we've talked about this. Yeah, we talked about it, and I didn't accept your answer. You work for me, I need you, and Carson, let's not pretend we don't all know who got you in the door. We're telling the staff to go home at one before the road closures get too crazy. Didn't you talk to your uncle about this already? No, I... Yeah, he just texted me. You hear Jim Jordan last night? Sometimes in a debate, you actually persuade people. All we're trying to do is get that debate. But the facts we know, this is something you should want to. They deserve a voice. If you play your cards right, you'll have some serious power to listen. Thanks for taking my call, Senator. You are on record with if not support, then at least consideration for Georgia. And frankly, now is the time. Representative Brooks needs a senator to sign on this or it dies in the Senate. I'm listening. Ah, uh, well, we think it's fair game. Governor Kemp has mismanaged this election terribly. There's, there's the fraud in Fulton County where Republican poll watchers were told to leave even though thousands of ballots were still being processed. And there's even this Thorn girl who personally witnessed Huge sums of mail-in ballots being practically tossed around. Well, I thought the Georgia Election Committee disapproved those claims. Ah, uh, sorry, 10 seconds, Senator. Tuberville's still on the fence. Tell him we can still win the people's support. Privately, if we can't get him to object on legal grounds, spin it. We still have popular support, and if we play our cards right, we can get those voters back in 2022, even if we lose this time. You make it sound like we don't have a legal case. It's a little white lie. Part of the game, right? Sorry about that, Senator. Look, Georgia might have a tough time in the courts, but it is a win in public opinion. And the other House members and Senators, you know my uncle, don't you? They'll really appreciate it, too. I'll consider it. But you've got me for Pennsylvania. Senator Paul, 
I'm sure you're aware the senator has publicly stated that he'll help argue the Pennsylvania case if it goes to the Supreme Court. I don't care what he's willing to do. This is a choice I'll have to make and live with. Our process needs to be looked at, but this might not be the way to do it. You'll know how I'm voting in a few hours. what you're doing, but this is a vote I'm making on my own. Senator Hyde-Smith, Nancy Pelosi, and the Democrats... I really do have to go, but I appreciate your calling. <laughs> Senator Hyde-Smith's office. Liz? It's Carson. I was just on with her. Can I get one more minute? Please. Make it quick. She's got another call in three. Thanks, Liz. Mystery. Look, Biden's taken office in 14 days. Universal mail-in ballots, changing election laws, hacked voting systems. We've got a real case here. And, well, my uncle, he always thought his support of you, your bills, was based on a shared system of values and principles. Senator, these states, they're trying to steal this election and we need every vote we can get to push back. I can assure you, your vote today will be met with at least 13 other colleagues. You have my word. You'll get my votes for Arizona and Pennsylvania. If your dad was still with us, I'd say rebels to victory. <laughs> um. With all due respect, Senator, I, uh, I think that cheer stopped inspiring my dad a long time ago. Seth, I got Senator Sass's office on? I'm sorry, I don't see this call on the Senator's schedule. Oh, my bad, I thought we had one. Did you say Sass? He's actually got a moment, though, so I can put you through. Yeah, yeah, that'd be, that'd be great. Yeah, you said you wanted sass. I said, Scott, you fucking moron. Hang up the phone. Hang up. What? what the hell am I supposed to talk to sass about? Yeah, he likes to ban abortions and cut taxes, but the man does not know the difference between election fraud and a wheat field. Oh, I am not talking to this Clay Aiken hairdo looking fuck from Nebraska. You deal with it. Hold. My mistake. There's uh, there's no need to bother the senator. Unfortunately, that train left the station when your little objection pressure campaign. Carson? Carson? Yep. Yeah, that's me. Honestly, I'm I'm flattered and a little surprised you remembered my name, Senator. <laughs> surprised? He ran for me when I sprained my ankle in the softball game a few years back. That was you, right? That was me. I appreciated your open door offer. I, I really did. Then even more so. What the hell are you guys doing? You're dragging down the team. The whole damn league. Parroting this nonsense, and it's not getting us anywhere. Parroting nonsense. Both seasoned and freshman senators are leading this charge. And they're doing so on the behalf of some 75 million Americans who no longer trust in the American election system. We've got to make it right. They're just lying. Some know it, some don't. There's a lot of interest at play here. Privately, I haven't heard even a single Republican colleague allege the election results were fraudulent. Not one. Well, what about the post office subcontractors who oh, filed affidavits under penalty of perjury that postal workers plan to backdate, what, 100,000? 100,000 mail-in ballots in order to circumvent the received and hand deadline for submit. It's just not true. Uh, look, you can't get on a train that's left the station. They found less than a dozen missing ballots, not 100,000. Besides, Wisconsin's law says that no ballots received after 8 p.m. on election day can be counted. 
changing a postmark wouldn't matter. Wouldn't matter. Are you honestly suggesting that tampering with received ballots what I'm wouldn't matter? What I'm suggesting is this isn't really a legal strategy. It's a fundraising strategy and a quick way to tap into the president's populist base. It's wrong. It's divisive. And our democracy is bigger than anyone's personal ambitions. Don't you get that? Look, I've got to get going. But you won't get any bills passed without these guys. I mean, we're a party, aren't we? And then you'll have to face the voters. We cannot do this based off unproven allegations. All ballots. Uh, Article 2, Section 1. Electors in the presence of the Senate and the House of Representatives. Representatives open all certificates and the votes shall then be counted. Carson, you're exactly right. Counting the electoral votes, that's our job. We're not the triers of fact. Judges are. And 61 of them have said there is no substantial evidence. But we lose our voters if we don't object. They want someone to stand for them. Those are just the loudest of our supporters, and this disgusting loop is created between them and the talking heads of our media. Hannity tells a lot of angry, isolated people what they want to hear. Then they go chant it out like everyone's thinking it. Carson, I gotta go. You've clearly still got that fire in you, and I love that. But please, just take a moment to reevaluate who you're trusting. Excuse my tongue, Senator, but I think the Dems have gotten in your head. And they won't stop until every non-American can vote, until every millionaire pays 62% in income taxes, and the freedom of speech we once held dear is forgotten. And I'm sorry, but that is not the country my dad died defending. Look, I know Ingram and Hannity aren't right about everything, but something feels wrong about all this. So, you know, maybe telling a few white lies isn't so bad after all. supposed to happen. Tucker, Rush, the senators, uncle, they knew they had to. Honey, it's okay. No one lied to you. It's the mainstream media. They trick you until you believe they're right. But this election was stolen. Carson, I'm proud of you. Your dad would have been so happy with how you've grown. Mom? Fuck no! We need to meet back up. We're still right about this, but we're changing the game plan. I'm being...
Thank you.